Jumapel Joan of Arc. I am 19 years old. I have talked to saints. I have led armies. My name is Joan of Arc. I have been captured by the English, and I now await my fate. Not many people know the true story of who I am and what I came to stand for. And if they do, they try to hide the truth. They perceive me as a threat. That is why they must get rid of me. Les Anglais n'appellent mon sourcier. Les Français n'appellent mon sourcier. The truth is, I'm neither. I was born on January 6th. 1412, in the small village of Domremy in France. My father's name was Jacques d'Arc, and my mother was known as Isabelle Romay. They were both very religious people, and they were extremely proud of their religion. We were a hard-working family and lived as part of the French peasant class. I grew up as any other child at the time, until I had my first vision. When I was 13, I began to hear the voices of St. Michael, St. Catherine, and St. Margaret. I was out in the fields the first time they came to me and told me that God wanted me to help drive the English from France, but I believed that it was a sign from God. Today, many people classify Joan's visions as being a result of any number of neurological and psychiatric conditions which cause hallucinations and delusions such as migraines, bipolar disorder, brain lesions, and even bovine tuberculosis from drinking unpasteurized milk and tending cattle. I was told to aid Charles VII, the rightful heir to the French throne, in claiming his inheritance. But unfortunately, the English pig dog, also known as King Henry VI of England, believed that the French crown was his due to the Treaty of Troyes. The deceitful Duke of Burgundy backs the English monarch, giving them more of a foothold in our land than they could ever rightfully claim as theirs, no matter the treaty. I went to Vercellaires for the first time in May 1428. After requesting that I join Charles's army, I was turned away. What they failed to realize was that they were not only dismissing me, but they were dismissing direct orders from God. I went to Vercellaires the following year, and instead of allowing myself to be turned away, I was adamant in expressing my cause and the reason behind it. The churchmen and courtiers did not at first believe me, but Charles did, and I believe this was all that mattered. I wouldn't know until later how wrong I truly was. In April 1429, I was given control of the army. I was frustrated with the way the war had been waged thus far, and the new strategies I imposed made that quite clear. I rejected the guarded and non-aggressive strategy we had been toting around as though it was our standard. When they control the army, 
Joan spared no night from her rebukes when they swore, behaved indecently, skipped mass, or ignored her battle plans. Her influence on the army didn't end with enforcing good behavior. Rather, she drove away many prostitutes at Sword Point, accused her allies of not standing their ground when they were confronted by the English, and even made curt remarks directed at the clergymen and men of the army who considered themselves above her. Her bright spirit led her to want very little rest, even when wounded. Each time after being shot twice during her campaigns, she quickly returned to battle. May 4th of that year, I led my men while we captured the fortress of St. Luke. May 5th, it was the fortress of St. Jean Le Blanc. May 7th was another great day. After fighting from 8 a.m. to dusk and being shot in the shoulder with an arrow, I successfully spurred my men to end the fighting at Les Tourelles to the benefit of the French and drove the English from their positions. The siege of Orleans had ended. The French victory the French at the siege of Orleans was an extremely important, important turning point in the Hundred, hundred Years' War. Years war. This, was this was the battle which brought Joan of Arc to the forefront of every contemporary military, military leader's military mind, mind, and ultimately, and ultimately led, to led, to led to her becoming a prominent a figure, a prominent in, history figure well. in history as well. After over, After 80, over 80, 80 years of fighting, fighting the, momentum the momentum of the French continued during the war campaign, as the English were driven from the regions which the French reconquered. June 18th resulted in the English's defeat at Patay. Charles was crowned at Reims on July 17th with me at his side. Throughout each of these separate ordeals, my piety never declined, and my reverence for God remained strong. However, in the end, this wasn't enough to save me. While attempting to relieve Campania, I was captured by the Burgundians in May of 1430. I was then sold to the English. I am currently being held here. Rumor is that they will give me a trial but I already know how it's going to end. They will condemn me as a witch, a heretic, and a sorceress, and I will be burned at the stake. My name is Joan of Arc. They say that I am a witch. I do not believe them. Maybe I should.
she will be dearly missed. What are you doing in my house? Aren't you Joan of Arc? <laughs> yeah. Aren't you supposed to be dead? I'm a witch!